Hello friends and welcome back to another Pokemon how-to guide. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's guide, we're going to be taking a quick look at the quickest, most efficient, and free method to EV your Pokemon. This is an exploit that allows you to EV your Pokemon in literally 5 to 10 minutes, and you can do up to 10 Pokemon at a time, which is ridiculous. So I don't know how long this exploit is going to be in existence in the games this is something i personally feel will be patched at some point so take advantage of it while you can and to get around any patches and if this does go away i will be also doing a full ev guide very soon on the channel so keep an eye out for that which explains all of the other methods with how to ev your pokemon so what we're going to do to start off with is head to the pokemon center head to any pokemon center and you want to head over to the rotom computer once you're in there and you want to go down to pokemon jobs now once you're in pokemon jobs you want to scroll right down to the bottom of this list and you will see the hp seminar and session attack seminar and session defense seminar and session special attack seminar and session special defense seminar and session and speed seminar in session now these are all the pokemon jobs that give your pokemon evs now you can send them away for a certain amount of time and depending on the time that they're away then that's how many evs they will get so if you send your pokemon away for a whole day they will receive 96 evs for that whole day but that is 24 hours for 96 evs that is a long period of time for very little return so what we want to do is wind that down and make that a lot quicker one of the ways to do this is if you've got a bunch of pokemon right now i've got four pokemon that i've just recently bred that i want 252 speed evs in so i'm going to use these four pokemon remember you can use up to 10 per session so it can really cut down your ev training now what i'm going to do is put two dreepy in two Gyromachas into the speed seminar session and we'll set them away so there we go we're going to put them in there and we'll wave them goodbye and what we want to do now is once they're in that session is head out to the wild area now i'm doing this in hammerlock city because there is a raid den right outside this city once you come into the wild area and it is this one on your left that you want to be heading down to now it may cost you a wishing piece i was lucky enough to actually have an active raid den so you don't need to reset for a purple beam or anything like that all you need to do is come to this den drop a wishing piece down and then that is the expenditure for all of this ev training now once you're at the den you want to click into it you want to search for an opponent you don't need to be connected to the internet to do this once the timer starts you come out of here go to your home screen go to your system system settings and then go down to time and date make sure that you toggle off synchronized date and time via the internet and then go down and change your day forward to one day now come back out of here you want to go back into the game quit the search and then go back in you'll see that your pokemon has changed in the den and you'll also receive 2000 watts so it's also stacking up as watt farming which is another bonus to this method what you want to do is just quit out of this don't do anything any further now go back to the pokemon center in hammerlock if you head back up there go back to the rotom computer and you will see that the pokemon job is now complete now you want to open this up so once you're in the Pokemon jobs, you will see at the very top, the job that you've put these Pokemon into is now complete. You click into the job, it will return your Pokemon and they will all be nicely EV'd, all receiving 96 EVs each of them in that speed stat and it took only a few minutes as well as this you do receive bonus items every time you complete a job so there you go got some bonus items again and now all you want to do is repeat this cycle so we go back into the same ev session you need to do this three times to max out one single ev stat so we'll select our three pokemon once again Darumakas and our dreepies that all want that speed stat we'll wave them off and then we want to head out of the Pokemon Center again. Go back down to that same raid den. It should still be active. You want to click into it once again. Invite. Start the timer. Come out into your home screen. Go to your system settings. Down to system. Down to date and time. And then change the date. One day forward. Once again. Come back out. Quit out of the Dynamax raid. And then back to the Pokemon Center. Go back to the Rotom PC. And you will see that once again... The Pokemon jobs that you've put these Pokemon in for are now complete. 24 hours has passed in the game and you'll receive another 96 EVs in that speed stat for all of these Pokemon. Now I'm just reiterating the point. You can do up to 10 Pokemon. This is crazy. This is such a fast, effective method to EV training. 
Now, I, I don't think there is a faster method here. It is obviously using an exploit, so this may be something that we don't have access to in the future, but while it is still in existence, I felt like I need to make a quick video on it and just to show you that this is something that you can do and take advantage of right now to save a lot of time. Now, we're gonna do the same process again. We're gonna go down to the den, do the reset again, and then come back to the PC, and the poker job will be complete. Another point that I wanna make is if your Pokemon have Pokerus, and your Pokemon are holding the power items, then you will only need to do this once. So it means having numerous amounts of the same power item for every single Pokemon up to 10 that you're doing in there, but you can grab them with battle points. And I will be doing a video on farming battle points, so that will hopefully help out with that aspect of it. So you can really make this a very, very quick method. But as you can see now, we've done the final job. It was complete. Again, this method does work. So you can see now that because of the sparkles, the stars around that specific speed stat, we know that that is maxed out. That EV stat is maxed out now. And it hasn't cost us anything. We've only gained watts in the process and a few extra items. So we'll wrap up the video there, my friends. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, do remember to drop a like on the video. Do subscribe to the channel for more Pokemon content. And I will see you all for another guide very soon. So until then, take care and bye-bye.